EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. Hey there, I'm DJ Shares. I'm going to demonstrate how to control the speed of this motor using our 4 amp H-bridge. It's a four wire H-bridge. It has two enable ports which allow you to connect it to a pulse wave port on the EZB to adjust the speed of your motor. So I currently have the H-bridge connections to the H-bridge and this here is the PWM signal to the H-bridge. So over to Easy Builder. I'm going to add an H bridge control to move the motor. I just have one motor hooked up to this H bridge, but that'll do. Now by default when you push configure, it's going to give you the ports. I have the H bridge currently plugged into these ports already, so I've preset that. Now when I move this, the motor moves. As expected. Now when I add the control for the PWM, what we can do now is we can pulse the input signals on the H-bridge itself. So we're actually going to be able to control the speed now. So if I put this on full throttle, now when I adjust the speed, I can speed it up and I can slow it all the way down. And we can see that here. We're currently at a speed of 31. This is a speed of 10. I can speed it up a little bit more. 40. So what's happening is the pulse wave modulation modulates the current on the pin you specify really, really quickly. And you can adjust how quickly based upon uh, the uh, slide dial that I was just showing you. So when the H-bridge is being told to turn on a specific motor, the enable pins are being flicked on and off really quickly, which actually controls, simulates controlling the DC current that goes out to the actual motor. So it's turning the motor on and off really fast, which simulates a lower voltage. To demonstrate the voltage, I've connected my voltmeter to the PWM. Now as I start moving the slider, you're going to see the voltage go all the way down to 0.16 and see how steady it holds. So now I'm going to start increasing the voltage. So I'm actually modifying the voltage that comes out of the digital port of the EZB. Now all 20 of the digital ports can do this. So as I move it up, I increase the voltage and I'm going to jump up a little bit higher values here. And we'll get up to one volt. See, we need to keep going. And there you go.